All right, we're in section 2.2, example 8, and we're going to apply the vertical line test. The vertical line test is defined in the textbook, but the idea is um, if you are if you imagine a vertical line going across horizontally across the graph, and if your vertical line crosses the function, the graph of the function in more than one place at any instance, it is not a function. And this kind of goes into the definition uh, discussed at the very beginning with ordered pairs about when um, a uh, uh, the ordered function, uh, the ordered pairs um, is a function, if the relation is a function, um, which was discussed in the first slide. Um, the idea is that if you have repeating x values, like if you have the same x values, you, you can only have one, um, it, it, and you have different outputs, then uh, it is not a function. And that's what the vertical line test is testing. That at any specific x value, if there's more than one place that your function is, is crossing at any specific x value, then it's not a function. That's exactly the same definition as mentioned in the first slide in a more in a more graphical form. Um, so anyways, let's look at the vertical line test and see how that works out. So we have a vertical line here. Um, sorry about that. Okay, let's just use this. Okay, so um, what we want to do is we want to take this vertical line and just move it across. And you can do this, um, uh, imagine a vertical line, you can draw it out the function and, and use a like pencil. Um, I've, I've heard this called a pencil line test because a lot of times if you have a graph in front of you, you could just take your pencil vertically and move it across the screen or your, or your, your graph. Um, so we, we can start moving this across and notice it's crossing at one location right now. One location, one location. But all of a sudden we notice right here, right when we move any further right, at, the, at right here, we notice that um, at this specific x value, it's crossing at more than one place. We notice that it's crossing here, ignore this little plot thingy, um, and right down here. Okay, and let's keep moving this, and notice it's cr crossing at three places now. And then right here, it's crossing at two, I guess, and then it's only one here. But if there's any location, any x value where it's crossing more than one at, at one y value, then it is not a function. So this is not a function. Okay? It's not a function, as we can see here, in many places, many different values of x. It's not, a, uh, we can see it's not a function. Okay, let's use the vertical line test here. It's crossing at one place right now. One place, keep moving. It's just one place. One, only one. Keep going. It's only one. Only one location that this vertical line is crossing this this curve. Only one. Only one the entire time. So this is a function. Nice. All right. So hopefully this makes sense. You can imagine a vertical line going across here and see when it's not a function. And we can see it's not a function for A, and it is a function for B. All right. Let me know if you have any concerns about um, the vertical line test. And, um, and determining if a graph is a function, um, I'm, I'm more than happy to help.